Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso. You're live in S3 and we have another crossing for you. Yeah, uh, needing some inspiration for her maiden cycle tour. Zoe's about to sit down with one of probably the most inspirational cyclists to come out of South Africa. Gentlemen, I am not complaining. I'm coming to you live from Cape Town Stadium at the Cape Town Cycle Tour Expo at Greenpoint. And you know what? It's quite nice, a nice way to spend my Friday ahead of race day coming Sunday. But naturally, I have to talk to the pros at that be. Nick Glamini is here. And you know what? The second time I see you in a space of 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's always good to see you, Zoe. It's, well, it's well, always a pleasure. You're a busy man. I mean, 2021 being a whirlwind of a year, being able to compete in the Tour de France as well as the Olympics. What was that experience like for you? Um, to be honest, it was. Uh, it's always been my childhood dream to to do both those events, and they are one of the biggest events, you know, in in, in our in our world. And I think I've been really fortunate enough to have the support I have from my team and. Uh, and, and globally, but also just doing those events is a, is a big achievement. So, yeah, I think for, for myself, you know, I, I'll always be grateful to have the support I, I have and, um, and really to be doing what I've always wanted to do. That is incredible. How old were you when you realized cycling is my dream? I'm going to cycle the Tour de France one day. So, so yeah, I, I started cycling when I was 12. But I, w I was always involved in other sports as, uh, as well. And only when I was 17, I actually decided to really focus into cycling. Because at that stage, you know, you start to see uh, that there is something in cycling, you know. And, but also you just have to start focusing in, in whatever that you, you want to really um, pursue in. And, and that was cycling for me. And yeah, and I just you know, started traveling quite a lot. <laughs> so I was, I was spending a lot of time away and, uh, and less time at school. So um, I decided to do homeschooling at the time, which actually re really helped a lot. And for you, oh, it's someone's birthday here at the Expo. I promise you it's nice and festive. <laughs> but for you that travels all over the world, what makes the Cape Town Cycle Tour so special? So the Cape Town Cycle Tour, um, if there is one thing that makes it special, must be the crowds. Uh, that I think you know. I think every every athlete can t actually tell you that um, our, our biggest our biggest uh, asset is actually support, and we really rely on support. And most of the time, when we are suffering up the mountains, we we really do rely on the support. But also, the scenery is really amazing. Um, and I mean, just being out in the road. And I think we have about thirty thousand people that are actually doing the event um, on a good year. So, I mean, I, I don't know of any other events that normally have big crowds such as that. So, that, but also the fact that it's in my hometown makes yeah. it even special. That is special. And I mean, you've been all over the world being involved with cycling. I know that also starting cycling at the age of 12 and only really deciding at 17, this is something you want to do. How do you think the young ones, there's so many that look up to you, you know, are there things in place that can help them to also, you know, be able to get on a bike and be able to explore the world of cycling? So the, we, we've got a lot of potential and well, with that being said, I think there's quite a lot of room to sort of work on, um, to work on the transformation in our sport because, you know, it's really hard to sort of go into the township and really find the raw talent. Um, and last week I was actually fortunate enough to do um, one of the local tours, Tour du Cup. And for me, it was really more training than, than really racing. So they actually got to, to watch some of the youngsters actually racing and, and just seeing how they were actually racing. And there was a lot of talent that I could see. And I mean, that for me was a good positive because it actually shows that they, we were actually going the right direction. And I think it is something that um, Africa really needs at this point. I mean, the world has really been upside down. But also our team is really doing an amazing job. Um, taking under 23s and letting them race um, uh, on the highest races in the world and um, because that's where I came from as well. So it is, it is, it is a long way coming from township to, to all the way to the Tour de France. So with these guys, I think they can actually be the, the next Tour de France stage winners and the, the actual tour winners. That is incredible. So anything 
can happen. And Nick, you are such an inspiration to not only me, but so many individuals. I mean, this is probably the world's lightest bike that I have ever, like I can pick the bike up with my two pinkies. <laughs> like this is the type of technology and equipment that people are using for the cycle tour. But Nick, I'm wishing you all the best for this weekend. And of course we will, we love having you on our screens and we hope to have an interview post race. Well, yeah. that, are you big on interviews after a race? Yeah, I, I love interviews. Um, it, it, it's, it's 109 kilometers, so I should be okay after the race. Okay. And um, yeah, good luck to you on, on your ride Sunday as well. Thank Take you. Care. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I love that I get to pick all of the pros brains today. It is the Cape Town Cycle Tour taking place this coming Sunday. We live at the Expo that's taking place today and tomorrow.